Hey, welcome back to Mobility Wad. We're going to take a crack at what I think is the best solution right now for a hot elbow. And we've talked about how to extend the elbow, some of those problems. This epicondylitis, this pain on the inside or the outside, let's be honest. It's, do you play golf? No. Do you play tennis? No. So it can't be golf or tennis elbow. It's got to be something else, right? Like kipping pull-up, muscle-up, rings. rings, and clean elbow. And what ends up happening is we see a, usually I see a problem in the kinetic chain, a missing turn rotation, elbow comes forward, I get end up with some kind of itis. And that can be an apophysitis, which is an irritation of the insertion onto that lateral part of the elbow or on the inside. That's, that's a problem. Whatever happens, this tissue gets really junky. And if you thought about your forearms, and how much work they do in relationship to say your calves. You spend a lot of time mobilizing your calves and rolling your calves. You don't spend a lot of time working on your forearms. These tissues get stiff. And then you ever work on a computer? Oh yeah, Mac Daddy's the CEO. So it, one of the things that happens is they end up on the computer a lot and then uh, your forearms get stiff. So once you've rung that bell, we found it's really hard to unring that bell. This is the best way. I'm gonna show you guys with the, with the floss band how to get into the elbow here. I'm gonna show you how we're wrapping it. It looks similar to what we did with Glenn. Then I'm going to really be clear about the corners that we get into that you're going to require a super friendly. So I'm going to put Max's elbow up, put him on my hand, and I'm going to wrap it starting here. You said we've already done one wrap session. I'm going to come over the top and I'm going to keep adding pretty significant tension, 50 to 75 percent, kind of wrapping as we go. I'm going to go across the whole joint here. And this is important. As we come across the whole joint, I'm going to keep adding that tension until I'm just down, you know, a couple fingers down, a four, three, three or four fingers down in the forearm, and then I'm going to start wrapping even tighter across the joint there. And then I'm just going to leave myself a little bit of slack, and then just tuck it in. Now, remember the three rules. One, go until your hand goes numb, stop, take it off. Two, hand goes dusky, it gets really an ugly color, take it off. Three, you freak out with tension, you just like you're out of there. Is that pretty tight? That's tight. Okay. So here's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to make sure that he can get into full elbow extension just like the knee. If that knee is slightly missing extension, this is why we're always working on that terminal knee extension. If you're missing that little bit of extension, then your leg is always under tension. The same thing happens here. So I'm going to turn Max palm down, and then he's just going to bend the elbow and come back up. And bend the elbow and come back up. And we want to make sure that we can get all to those corners. You can see that as I just grab his forearm, I'm just giving a little twist. All we're doing is normal range of motion. There's no gapping, there's no, well, there's a lot of gapping going on with the band, but I'm just helping him to get into these corners, and he's just extending his elbow. See how he tries to compensate out, bend your elbow, straighten back out, bend and straighten, and then he's, we're ungluing this tissue. We're gonna get, when we flip it into flexion, some flexion gapping. We're restoring the sliding surfaces here. We're temporarily giving, causing some ischemia in the tissues, and we release it, we're gonna get a big tissue rebound of blood flow, which is why all the trephanine, all the, the ozone insertion, all the kind of irritation that they're doing with the needles, restart the blood flow in here. And that's what we're gonna to attempt to do too. And I'm just spending some time, I'm just adding a little rotation, so it's like he actually rotates. And I'm just trying to help that corner, working on that external rotation through the full range. Coming all the way down, and then I'm gonna come back up. Two positions here. We're trying to go to the outside. If we've actually rotated him in the socket, this would be the extra rotation of the elbow, and also with palm up. So getting into these corners really helps him, and just me kind of pressing and scouring. He could do this himself, but it helps when a friend scours. Not like this. You, it's true. It's hard. So I'm just helping him go back and forth. Hey, raise the roof. New kids on the block. Oh. Right stuff. That's what it is, right? How you doing? This is probably called the hang oh, tough yeah. drill, right? So oh, what's yeah. going is we're getting in there and moving that around. You see that Bernard is being a sport here, and it's not comfortable. Oh, no. It's starting to turn dusky, right? The, the color of his hand doesn't look like a healthy normal hand. It looks like it's a little bit dead. And then after a couple minutes of just not being able to take it anymore, we release that tension. Don't panic, you'll see a little bit of some of the blood vessels pop in this superficial skin stuff. That's just from the pinching. But if you look at his, now he's got full range. And more importantly, what does that feel like? Feels better now. In what way? <laughs> Stop <hurting. laughs> right, <laughs> right, you're not hurting me. That feels full better. range. Your full range. Yeah. And the corners don't feel as stiff. And instantaneously, we see radical changes. Of all the techniques we've gone after, for people going after this epicondylitis for years, through the stiffness, eccentric loading, this is absolutely the best. Get a voodoo band. It's the way to deal with this. 
kind of lack of or tissue stiffness issue. This is the cure for, uh, I'm not going to say it's a cure, but this would be my number one treatment for el kipping elbow, pull-up elbow, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, which obviously you do a lot of CEO, Olympic lifting, ring dip elbow. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks, my dad. Do it.